and welcome to Access Chat. I've been away for a few weeks. It looks like I've been abandoned on a desert island. Actually, I've just been moving house uh, in the middle of a lockdown. Um, but I've got the old quarantine beard going. So um, welcome back to Access Chat to uh, one of our regular uh, contributors, Nabil Eid. Nabil is uh, one of has been one of our guests before uh, several years ago. He's based in Syria. He runs Telecenter. Uh, has written a number of books around accessibility, and of course is a regular contributor to the chat as well. So Nabil, great to have you back. Um, great to see you, and um, welcome. Can you remind our audience a little bit about uh, the work that you're doing, please? Yeah, um, thank you uh, for having me on Access Chat. Uh, uh, so a little about uh, my background. Uh, I uh, would consider the, my profession to be an advocate for the community of disabilities. Uh, I have uh, 23 years uh, of experience in disabilities, uh, including strategy. Um, my beginning was in 1993 when I founded the first computer for ICT accessibility in Syria. Um, I remember at that time, uh, parents of uh, students with hearing disability asked me about the possibility of training their children on IT uh, and some application program. So that was my first channel to me, and it was the first uh, initiative at the national uh, uh, level. Uh, I created the first approach uh, or to teach students with hearing disabilities uh, to develop a new sign language uh, for computer team. Uh, in 2004, I worked with the UNDB in Syria. We have worked to establish, uh, I think, uh, 57 uh, new ICT access uh, point uh, in marginalized uh, rural area, including established for uh, ICT accessibility to providing uh, uh, assistive technology and some programs to people uh, with disability. Um, uh, I think in uh, the same time, I conducted the first project in Syria in coordinate with the UNDB, uh, Egypt through a program ICT in the Arab region for blind. During uh, that period, I trained a lot of students in using screen readers program and assistive technology uh, tool to enhance their education and employment. Then I participated in uh, presenting uh, results through WISIS in Tunisia uh, 2005. Uh, it was the first Arab initiative on, on information uh, uh, to lead that uh, to establish four ICT accessibility centers for the blind uh, in uh, four uh, different uh, regions of uh, uh, Syrian geography. Uh, also working in cooperation with Syrian uh, government through so Minister of Social Affairs uh, and with support of local community to establish the, uh, the first ICT accessibility uh, under uh, title study centers for uh, uh, person with disability research. Uh, uh, working in programming, uh, uh, develop uh, the first uh, program for intellectual disability, uh, serve uh, Down syndrome, uh, autism, and learning uh, disability. So that the program uh, applied in Syria and uh, uh, Lebanon, uh, Sultan uh, Oman, uh, etc. Uh, also, um, uh, in addition, I worked closely with the Syrian local uh, community to build capacity and ICT empowerment of women with disability and launched the first digital literacy campaign for girls with disability uh, in coordinate with the ITU organization. Uh, worked with the UN squad as that security for uh, knowledge network uh, of uh, disadvantaged community and uh, at uh, building uh, ICT uh, center by transforming the select ICT access uh, point uh, into uh, uh, Nordic. Uh, in uh, 2010, I moved to work with the uh, Telecenter Foundation, uh, develop some program for marginalized 
uh, people and uh, serve uh, uh, vulnerable uh, group uh, uh, by using ICT for development. Uh, working also with uh, GIZ in Iraq, uh, uh, GIZ Germany, Society for International Co uh, Corporation, uh, uh, conduct research and access to education to vocational education and uh, training uh, and uh, income generation internally, uh, displaces uh, uh, person uh, with the refugee and history in Kurdistan. Uh, we invest, investigate uh, through our uh, work uh, to uh, to focus on refugees with disabilities. Uh, really, the refugees with disabilities uh, is a uh, vulnerable groups uh, in uh, in these places uh, and uh, in host communities and refugees come. There are a lack of uh, uh, all facilitated uh, to to support them. Uh, from uh, uh, accessibility, from uh, learning, uh, lack of learning, lack of support, uh, their education, lack uh, of uh, employment. Uh, then. Uh, most refugees uh, uh, just uh, staying at their uh, 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 camp, uh, and awaiting some aid uh, from uh, from organisations. Can can I ask a question about about the the, the refugee situation? Because I'm sure it's changed over a number of years, where um, where previously, whilst the physical conditions may not have improved a great deal, people now have access to mobile phones. So have you seen the um, the proliferation of mobile phones and the access to technology through mobile making a difference for uh, refugees with disabilities in, in the camps? Has that, has that had an impact in any kind of positive way that you might not have seen 10 years ago? We I, we conduct with uh, some organization to support and to get fund for support uh, refugees uh, with disabilities from other organization, but uh, really most uh, um, of uh, uh, them uh, not deal in uh, uh, in that. I hope uh, in the next steps or. Uh, uh, when we uh, planning for uh, other issue, uh, go uh, with other organization to uh, to 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 get fund and support uh, refugees with disabilities. And uh, there are a lot uh, of refugees with disabilities here uh, inside Syria uh, or in Lebanon, in Jordan, in Turkey, in Iraq, and other. I think that there is two uh, million or more refugees with disability uh, spread uh, in this uh, region. Uh, OK. Um, Deborah, you had a question. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'll go off mute. Nabil, we, you know, I continue to be so impressed with your background. It's amazing what you've done in your history and sometimes in really difficult, difficult situations with, you know, limited to no Wi-Fi to everything that was happening in Syria and you didn't let it stop you. You just kept going and going and going. But I, um, I also want to talk just for a second about the refugees because I know that I have, you know, studied a lot, been watching a lot about the refugees. And I was surprised when I saw a show on 60 Minutes here in the United States that the average person in a refugee camp, now the average time is 20 years. And I think a lot of people, we don't think about it like that. We think, oh, you're a refugee, you're gonna be in a camp for you know, a few months, you know, it, a few years would be ridiculous, but 20 years. So well, the world has just started realizing that we've got to get education. We've got to get technology. We've got to get communications to the refugees or, you know, how can people get out of the situation? So I was just surprised at the length of time 
than a, a refugee spends in a refugee camp. And I, you know, so how, you know, I know that we're getting education to them and we're starting to get technology. And as Neil noted, you know, that we're, we're seeing at the, um, I remember hearing that the United Nations Red Cross, things like that, when they, they go into refugees camps or they go into places where people are being displaced and, you know, going to go to the refugee camp, they ask them what they need. In the past, they would say, we need water, we need uh, clean water, we need clothes, we need food. And now when they ask that question, the number one thing they ask for is good Wi-Fi because they know that if I have my, my phone, my smartphone, no matter what model it is, I have good Wi-Fi, I can work myself out of this situation maybe a lot better than waiting for a government to respond. So that's relatively new. And I was wondering if you wanted to comment on that at all. Just the length that people are staying in and how do we get them the education they need? How do we make sure people with disabilities are you know, being accommodated because we know a lot of refugees are people with disabilities because they've gone through a traumatic situation. So many of them are going to have post-traumatic stress disorder. Many of them are going to have, you know, lost limbs and all kinds of different, you know, situations. Yes, it's so the difficult situation for refugees with disabilities, but we can uh, suggest some, uh, when uh, I worked with uh, in Iraq, suggest to, to build the telecenters for support uh, person with disabilities. Uh, building telecenters in refugee, uh, refugees camp and uh, in the health community, maybe collect all the uh, students with uh, refugees to learn there to 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 get for find them uh, a job opportunities there are a lot of programs that uh, accessible and uh, uh, most of the programs that support uh, refugees uh, to get uh, 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 education to to independent to integrated uh, to reading uh, digital content. Uh, I think um, the center for disabilities is uh, so important uh, in refugees camp and uh, the host community. Uh, Nabil, if you if you look to the current situation of people with disabilities. Uh, living uh, in, in those camps, what are uh, the main needs that 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 people have there? You know, uh, are they related with physical support? Are they related with trying to find ways for them to connect uh, and develop knowledge? What are the main needs uh, that people have? Uh... For uh, this group, I think uh, they need the physical and uh, uh, and support. Uh, physical by uh, building uh, uh, such as telework or telecenter to to support them. Uh, also, we uh, they need uh, to to training staff a lot of staff uh, for uh, and uh, conduct some program for them. Uh, you know, not uh, for refugees with disabilities. There are um, kind of type of disabilities. So we we need to tire the uh, each program for them. For example. Uh, a person uh, with hearing disabilities, they can uh, learn a lot uh, uh, from uh, uh, programs such as uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and other. For example, for um, uh, other uh, blind, uh, they can uh, using uh, OCR. So we can uh, need to to. Uh, uh, to, to, to put them uh, in the uh, uh, main of uh, uh, target uh, to, to support and help them. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in continue on that, what type of programs do you know that the UN is implementing uh, in those camps? Sorry. What type of programs are you aware uh, that are being implemented by the United Nations in those camps? Uh, about the programs? Yes, from the United Nations. What type of support uh, are uh, 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 yes. in the camps? 
Yeah. Um, now, uh, I think the, for United Nations, they have the, such as the WHO, uh, WHO and uh, UNICEF working uh, for support uh, uh, children with disabilities in the refugee camp. Uh, they set some uh, uh, strategy issue uh, and now working to in, uh, inclusive education for them in refugee camp. Uh, maybe uh, uh, that in, in the next step, I think uh, uh, UNICEF uh, uh, just uh, set some program uh, to, to support also uh, digital reading uh, for, for this. So when I, uh, uh, when uh, we talk about uh, support uh, digital content or digital reading uh, for uh, refugees and other persons with disabilities, so important uh, to, to, to provide them with, uh, 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 with, uh, uh, to benefit all, uh, uh, all them, uh, refugees in hospital communities out or in uh, or the displaced person uh, in some area <clears throat> my first um, uh, sorry my um, uh, book uh, when i wrote uh, about uh, um, uh, the importance of uh, digital content uh, uh, why i uh, wrote the uh, accessible library for support uh, disabilities. Uh, I, I think uh, it is important uh, uh, to increase uh, the uh, important uh, uh, of uh, support digital reading uh, and person with disability in their ability to obtain uh, a first heart uh, uh, information for their social uh, support uh, uh, network. Um, uh, we need to bridge uh, uh, digital divide that prevent uh, all uh, persons with disability, including refugees with disability, uh, from full uh, inclusion in our knowledge-based uh, society. Um, but uh, we should uh, believe uh, uh, that in integration and equal opportunity and uh, community to meet uh, the needs of persons with disability in a timely manner through removing and uh, preventing uh, barriers uh, to accessibility and meeting uh, uh, requirement and the standard for uh, an accessible uh, such as library and other issues. Now, Bill, I, I often wonder, um, you know, in the, these type of crisis situations, even though they're going so long, that means one thing average stay is 20 years, how, how much do the refugees, and I know this is a hard question, and it, I'm, I also understand it depends um, on uh, where we're talking about, because we have refugees all over the world. It's not, it's just not about Syria, but you know, how do we make sure that the refugees with disabilities visible and invisible, because we know about 80% of disabilities are invisible. How do we make sure that they know that they should be asking for accommodations? And even if it's invisible, that they have the, you know, they have rights, but in a, in a crisis situation where everybody's in trouble, how do we get, you know, the agencies and the people that are coming to help to understand um, the complexities of the needs? And, and I think it ties directly into the same thing of something that I know you've championed and, and I, we've all benefited from. You took um, my book, for example, and translated into Arabic, and you've done that for others, and you've written so much, and you've supported United Nations and all these agencies and, and countries all over the world. But at the same time, how important it is for us to get them the data, the education, the awareness in their native languages, and at the same time, you know, be teaching them other languages if they need it to try to help them, you know, get out of these situations, you know. 
because there's probably not as many opportunities for them if they're speaking certain languages as maybe maybe other languages. So I was just wor- wondering about some of these complex nuances and if if they're being addressed. Yeah, that's uh, the good. Uh, the but uh, but uh, I think uh, in refugees camp and the host communities, uh, we need to planning and designing uh, library uh, at the same uh, Christian church, for example, uh, to make uh, and we need to make library uh, accessible. Uh, you ask me about uh, there is a uh, economic resource for uh, building library accessible. But uh, uh, I think many improvement, uh, however, can be implemented with a very small amount of uh, money, of uh, or uh, possibly without any cost. The solution can often be found through the change of staff attitude and thinking in a new way. We can training uh, uh, staff and uh, uh, some volunteers. We can uh, help uh, refugees uh, them uh, and uh, uh, to to building uh, a library and provide. Uh, provide them uh, with the uh, uh, appropriate uh, information uh, for them. Uh, also, I think uh, 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 important support include the uh, education for them. Uh, uh, when the organizer should uh, uh, also provide information on the accessibility. Um, uh, some facilities uh, we, we can adapt, it, such as in trade and general area uh, in uh, building. But uh, I think we can do more uh, if joint effort uh, uh, f- uh, uh, to, 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 to make a, uh, such as a small Christian type of small uh, uh, schools. Uh, uh, for uh, provide the necessary uh, information and support uh, them by education and employment. So, yeah. so in the bill, you, you you were talking about libraries, and we're talking about digitized libraries here, and you're talking about making stuff accessible, and you you mentioned that this is low to no cost. Now everything has some level of cost, even if it's the the effort that is involved here. So, um, so what are we talking here? We're talking about sort of enabling people to create their own libraries through what, giving them a scanner and OCR um, software. Um, are we teaching people, teaching the the teachers in the camps to um, be able to, to understand mm-hmm. what it is that they need to do to to create documents accessible? Because then I, I can see that you know they're going to be creating documents anyway, so it's no additional cost. Uh, yeah, is that really what you're you're, you're talking about here? Yes, uh, I um, when I uh, focused about uh, building uh, library or uh, education centers in refugees camp, but uh, when uh, we talking about uh, a school library or a public library, uh, university library, uh, we need uh, more resources uh, to uh, to. Uh, to provide with uh, uh, access surface materials, the program should be uh, also available in alternative, uh, for uh, example, ebook, e audio book, large print, uh, braille, uh, uh, etc. Uh, I, when uh, I meant about uh, that support uh, for building and the planning uh, library. Uh, all effort uh, should be work uh, for the staff and librarians and organizers, volunteer, advocate, and uh, other. That's very, very important. That's very important. Uh, the, uh, when, uh, uh, but 
the, the main question is how to raise our awareness of library, how to raise awareness of uh, library, uh, uh, how uh, can in uh, raise uh, and increase community to support uh, public libraries for uh, persons with disabilities. That's very important uh, question. Uh, are uh, uh, we prepared uh, accessible uh, website uh, for uh, uh, for uh, uh, library? I think then now uh, seven percent of uh, published work accessible in the world. But uh, what the role of uh, publishers? What the role of uh, community? What the role of uh, organization uh, in support uh, uh, the Marrakesh uh, Treaty uh, to 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 end uh, the uh, that focus about uh, to, to the book is uh, in the feminine mm -hmm. that uh, of, uh, uh, Key question uh, about uh, support education at that library. So, Nabil, you you mentioned um, a role that publishers should be playing. Um, what did, you know, but it, at the same time, um, what can other corporations do to help? And are there some corporations that are helping that you see are really stepping up? And at the same time, and I know these are hard questions, but um, I, I wonder what the world can learn from what people are dealing with in these refugee camps and apply that knowledge to what we're dealing with all over the world with the COVID virus. And if there's just some, you know, if there's some wisdom that we can learn as a world from uh, these two, you know, these two parallel situations. So I'm just curious if, you know, what more corporations can do, because I have multiple corporations coming to us asking us how they can help during the COVID virus and, um, and, and really want to do the right thing. We're seeing some really amazing things happening from our corporations, but how can we tie some of these efforts, you know, to the refugees and back and forth learning from the refugees? And are there any publishers that are really stepping up? I, I see publishers doing a lot of really, really important things with accessibility. So I was just wondering if you're seeing that as well from your lens. Yeah, uh, the, I think uh, we can, the International Federation of Library Association uh, has uh, maybe a part of uh, its mission uh, statement uh, to empower and uh, promote the society by driving access to, to, to information, knowledge, and culture for all to support development, learning, creativity, and uh, innovation. Uh, when an uh, inclusive society aims uh, to full participation for all its uh, members, it's uh, imperative uh, to, to deal with uh, social barriers for participation in order to include uh, people with disability uh, a broad uh, holistic approach uh, uh, required. Uh, 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 we, 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 we need uh, also uh, more uh, uh, collaboration, more uh, corporate with uh, uh, federal, uh, uh, federation of library and uh, organizations and uh, UN are the most uh, uh, organizations working in UN, uh, from UN uh, to, to support uh, uh, digital reading uh, and uh, to to all persons with disabilities, and especially uh, we need uh, special hours to, to refugees with disabilities uh, and training uh, students uh, to, to get uh, more uh, uh, information. I think uh, uh, they have uh, the right uh, to, to, to read uh, because uh, 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 access to information is to human right closely connected uh, to reading. Uh, reading is a socio-economic uh, uh, necessity to uh, in a society where uh, writing uh, language is deeply uh, integrated uh, in the culture. Being uh, uh, able to 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 
to read uh, is not just uh, on uh, intellectual skills, uh, it uh, uh, to, to read and uh, increase the risk of social exclusion with uh, all uh, its uh, negative uh, effect. Yeah. I, I absolutely 100% um, agree with you. It's more than just a, a nice to have. You know, um, it's absolutely a, a right to be able to have access to information, to be able to understand what's going on. In times like these, when uh, we face challenges with uh, health and um, we have this lockdown, that, that ability to access information is of paramount importance and, 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 and therefore accessibility of the information for everyone is hugely important and um, we want to make sure that all of our communities are armed with the knowledge to keep themselves self, themselves safe and healthy. Uh, Nabil, it's been a real pleasure again uh, to have you on the show and need to thank our supporters the companies that support us, uh, the organizations. So uh, Barclays Access, Microlink PC, and MyClearText for all of their good work keeping our lights on uh, and keeping us accessible. And want to wish everyone out there a happy Easter, happy Passover, happy holidays in general, even if you are all staying at home. I hope that um, you have the opportunity to spend some quality time with your your families um whether they're with you in person and close up and personal or um through video links like this so thank you very much nabil it's been a real pleasure again thank you thank you thank you nabil bye -bye. everyone you, be yeah. safe thank you. thank you thank you you too bye bye bye